Hi, it's Jo from Minerva, if you've not met me before, and today I'm here for a little bit of sewing chit chat. I'd like to talk to you about garment fit and garment ease. You hear a lot of people say, um, I don't like that pattern, the fit wasn't right on me, um, or I don't like that pattern. I measured myself and I made it and it was huge across the shoulders or it was hanging around my neck. Well, actually, a pattern is just a template for you to fit. And the only way that you can fit it is if you know how much ease is in the pattern. When we make a garment, we are a 3D shape. A human body is a 3D shape. And we are working with 2D flat pattern pieces and flat pattern fabric. So we need to make sure that when we have a garment hanging from us, that we have some ease for our movement. So ease is the little bit of extra fabric that's added to your real measurements so that you can sit comfortably, move your arms comfortably, um, or sit down or stand up. All patterns have what is called a wearing ease or a comfort ease and that is that little extra bit of fabric and you will know what type of ease a pattern has by checking out the actual garment measurements. So once you've measured yourself and decided which size you're going to make and don't worry about the uh, UK size or the US size, just think about your actual body measurements. If you put the pattern pieces flat and then you measure your actual body measurements against the pattern, you'll see how much ease there is. So the pattern pieces will be a little bit bigger, of course, for seam allowance, but also for wearing ease. Wearing ease is particularly important with woven garments because you don't have um, any stretch in the fabric that will help you have movement. So on a woven garment, it's particularly important that you understand how much ease the pattern has. A good way to find out ease is sometimes it's included in the instructions and sometimes you can look at the description and that will give you a description. So it might say a loose fitting top or it might say a fitted top or it might say a uh, body hugging top or dress. So all those phrases will give you little clues as to the garment ease. The cover image is also a good indicator of ease. So if you see uh, where the model on the front wearing the item, you will see whether it is loose fitting. So in this garment, you can see it's a very loose fitting garment. Whereas in this pattern, you can see it's a very close fitting garment. Those pictures will give you a good clue, but they're not really, really accurate. Patterns also have a design ease and that's slightly different because that is how much space there is for each pattern piece to give it its overall silhouette. So if you have um, a top with a drop sleeve or a dolman sleeve, then you will have much more ease and movement and comfort room in the underarm. If you have a set in sleeve, then you will have less room. So you, it will be more important to pick your size. A good example of this is if you think of garment types, so uh, the pattern blocks for a coat have much more ease. You can see here the ease is so that you can fit a jumper and a top and other things underneath and especially around the waist where you might have trousers and belts and things. So there's more design ease in a coat than there would be say in an evening dress. This evening dress is really really fitted so the design ease in this is to create a silhouette so there's much less fabric in each pattern piece so that you get a close fitting garment. A third element of ease is negative ease. A negative ease is when you use the stretch in a fabric so that your um, garment is close fitting, skin tight fitting. So in fact, if you hold the garment up, it's smaller than your body shape. And when you put your human body inside, then the uh, fabric can stretch to the size of your body. The best way to think of this is for men's underwear. So if you think of three different types, you have underpants, they have negative ease because um, they're smaller than the body and they stretch onto the shape. Or a trunk style, which is fitted. So that might be a stretch fabric and it's fitted to the body shape. Or a boxer short shape, which has a, a larger design ease because the fabric is not normally stretched. So because it's a woven fabric, it needs ease for movement of your thighs and legs. Negative ease doesn't mean your uh, pattern choice will always be close fitting. You can also get um, design ease and comfort ease with stretch fabrics. So in this pattern, you can see it's a stretch fabric because it's making a sweater, but it's got quite a loose fit. So there's lots of ease. 
Another good example um, for you to think about ease is to think about women's jeans. So there's an element of comfort ease here and an element of design ease. So if you think of three different types of jeans, so if you had jeggings, then they might be negative ease. They might be slightly smaller and you uh, get into them and you've got that skinny jean style or that legging style. You might have um, just a straight fitted jean, so that's close fitting. That's uh, the ease that's sort of in the middle that has a comfort ease. Or if you think about a pair of mom jeans that ha are much larger around the bottom and the waist and the hips, then here you will get that style of design ease because you want to have a different silhouette. Of course, you it's up to you. It's your pattern, it's your project. So you can change the ease in your pattern. So you can flat pattern measure your pattern pieces. And if you want more ease, you can add more ease. But remember, a way to get more ease isn't to just size up and size up because then um, areas on your pattern will be, become bigger as well. So your shoulder fit will be too big. Your neck will be too big. The back will gape. So you can't just size up to get ease. You need to get ease in the places that you want it. The same is true if you try and size down. So if you don't want ease in something, so you say, oh, I don't want it to look that baggy and uh, casual. I want it to be more fitted. You can't just always size down because then the opposite will happen. You'll get your shoulder seams will be too short. Your neck will be too short and maybe other areas will not fit. So always have a look at the pattern, find out the ease it might say, look at the picture or flat pattern measure and then decide how much ease you would like because then you can alter the pattern if you want to. So don't forget there isn't generally a style of pattern that doesn't fit you. All patterns are just a template for you to fit to yourself. I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions or any comments on ease, then I'd love to hear them below. This has been a chit chat video today, but I'd like to hear what experiences you've had while you've been making clothes and you've been trying to work with ease. It's always great to see fresh and inspirational projects over on our Minerva feed. So do make an account for yourself, upload your makes and tell us a little bit about what you've been up to. We love to hear what you've been doing. Thank you very much for watching. Do call again for more tutorials. We have sew along ones, fabric focus ones, tutorials, educational ones. There's loads to see. So do call again soon. Bye bye.